Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to the shop. I've been tinkering around a little bit. I've been wanting to make a sign and I took I took my uh, I had some stencils and I stenciled D West Forge on here. Um, and then I fractal burned it after the fact and the fractal burns came out really nice but as you can see I've got a D here and there was a dash right here and then here's a W and there's an E right here uh, an S and a T and then down here we've got an F which the top of the F got burned up here an O you can pretty well see the R here and the G again the top of the G got burnt pretty good and an E so I've got a D West Ford sign here that I made and I want to epoxy fill this also but what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna take some type of uh, I think I'm gonna mix up a little resin uh, a little cup of resin I haven't really decided what color I want to use yet but I've mixed up I'm gonna mix up a little cup of resin and we're just gonna take a paintbrush I think I think what we'll do is we'll just mix up some pearl white a little bit of pearl white uh, resin and we're gonna paint these letters in uh, with the pearl white so that they show up because you can't really see them in here uh, worth a hoot with the fractal burns so we're gonna paint in the numbers the bottoms of the numbers with a little pearl white resin let that cure up a little bit and then we're gonna pour the rest of this with uh, some type of a nice translucent color maybe uh, maybe a red or a, or an orange type of color I'm not sure yet I haven't figured that all out yet but uh, and then when it cures up real nice we'll take and sand this all off real well and finish it uh, sort of the way we did the top of our bar stools over here and then we can hang this up in here so uh, stick around again thanks for being here and let's uh, let's paint this sign up let's see if we can get it finished up <laughs>
call this uh, we'll call this uh, uh, D West Ford sign part one because we're gonna have to wait on that resin to dry now. Um, I wasn't even thinking the other day when I when I broke out the stencils and I traced out all the little letters and where I wanted them and then I got out the Dremel and I just started chewing them all out and I was almost done with it before it dawned on me. Gosh, I should have made a video. I should have turned on the camera. But I think you get the gist of what we were doing there. I just took my little Dremel. Uh, I don't have a regular router and, and even if I did, it, it would have been too hard to try to follow. So I just took the Dremel and I put a little bit, a little wood bit on there and just uh, ground, you know, dremeled out those letters. I guess it's the same, I routed them out, but just didn't use a router. So, uh, then I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have some fractal burns in this. I didn't anticipate how deep I was going to burn it and how, how bad they would get. And once I burned it and I brushed out all the fractal burns and looked at it, it wiped out half of the border lines of where the letters were and what have you. So, um, so that's why we had to take, as you saw a little bit ago, and we painted in, painted all the letters back in with some white pearl uh, resin, polyester resin. And then we let that cure for a while, put a little heat to it. That didn't seem to help, and he just kind of made it bubble. Um, but once it was tacky enough, then we were able to mix up some orange and put over it, so uh, what we're looking to get in the end result is something like this. Like our stools, you know, those are just fractal burns in there with, um, with some epoxy resin and some metallic blue paint mixed into them. So that's kind of the effect we're hoping to get out of this sign other than we just poured the blue uh, metallic epoxy right in these fractal burns here. And we would have done the same thing with the sign, but uh, but the fractals kind of took out some of the tops and parts of the letters and that. So in order to define the letters, that's why we painted them with that white pearl uh, polyester resin mixture. And then poured our orange over it so you'll still be able to see D-West should show up pretty nice, D-West Forge. And the fractal burns, I'm not sure how that stuff's going to hold its color or what's going to happen, but it is what it is. However it comes out, it's going up here on the wall. So, uh, thanks again for being here, guys. Back to work tomorrow, back to the grind. Bright and early, got to be to the to the yard at like 5 a.m. means I've got to get up before 5 o'clock and get to work. So, probably won't be a lot going on this week. Uh, unless I get a day off or something here or there because of weather, but uh, that hasn't seemed to have been happening much this year, so uh, looks like we'll uh, we'll get this video uploaded today, and we'll probably see you next weekend when we make another one. We should have our handle scales all ready to go. We can get our knife. It's just going to be stock removal again for this carrying knife. It's just a small knife. She wants to use it um, on a regular basis. And my hand forged knives are wonderful and they work great. But if you don't take really good care and keep that blade oiled and stuff, it, they will rust. They'll get rust on them. And then once you get rust on them, then in order to get the rust off of them, you have to sand or whatever and you take the risk of screwing up the finish on the blade and all of that. So where she wants to use it on a regular basis, I've got an old butcher knife upstairs. I was going to use, I bought a, uh, oh, uh, a scraper, uh, kind of a trowel scraper type thing from Harbor Freight, the stainless steel. And I was going to cut it out of that, but I got the feeling and it's just too thin. Uh, it's just too flimsy. So I've got an old butcher knife upstairs. We're just going to cut it down. We're going to cut out our shape of our our tang and, and our uh, blade for a, for a small paring knife out of the blade of that knife. Then we'll put our handle scales, liners, all that on there. 
Uh, we'll sharpen it on down to a small little nice paring knife blade. So it'll be a stock removal. It'll still be stainless steel because uh, like I say, she's going to be using it a lot, so we don't want it to rust. Um, but I have a kick-ass set of uh, D West Forge custom scales on it. So if we can ever get this green stuff to work out right, the more I look at the ones I poured upstairs, they hardened up real nice. They 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 cured really well. I could probably grind them right now, but they're just not translucent enough. So. Uh, I've got plenty more wood. We've got plenty of electricity to do more Lichtenberg fractal burns. So I think uh, I've been using some of this fir and pine that I've had around here and I've had to be putting it in the vacuum chamber to stabilize it because it's not a very tough wood just the way it is. Got some oak over here. And I think that uh, the next set, when I get this casting resin in Tuesday, uh, I'm going to go ahead and burn a set of that oak and then we'll try this casting resin with some uh, dye in it and see how that works out. I just really have this, tell you these scales here, the color came out almost perfectly. I mean I love that green, you know that nice green pearl look but they're just not usable. They're just rubbery. It's so kind of mind boggling, but uh, see, and that's just casting resin epoxy like I used on my stools. And now the fractal burns in those stools weren't much deeper than what the fractal burns in those scales were, but for whatever reason, and it's not really, too hard to get it right because you don't, you know, you're not using a cup of resin and 36 drops of hardener or whatever and the ratio changes the more or less you use. It's just 50-50 casting resin, so it's pretty hard to screw up. I mean, you pour an inch in the bottom of one cup of the resin, you pour an inch in the bottom of another cup of the hardener, you mix the two together add your color, whatever you're gonna do, and you pour it. I mean, and why those refuse to really harden up is beyond me. Uh, so, but anyway, we'll get that all sorted out and figured out and get the right set of scales made for that pairing knife. So, thanks for being here, everybody. I sure appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Click that little subscribe button and join us here in the shop. Click on that little bell get a notification whenever we put up a new video and uh, share these videos with your friends and that if you like uh, you see something you really like or that you thought was pretty cool uh, hit that share button share them on social media or whatever you want to do uh, anything is appreciated get out to your shop and have some fun uh, let your cares roll off your back and uh, if you do nothing but clean the place I'm telling you, you'll feel better. You'll it'll feel better when you walk into your shop, and uh, you know, or get out there and tinker with something. Always be safe when you're working in your shop, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.